Yo, what's up everyone? Brian with you from the game coming and we are back playing some more Total War Warhammer 3 continuing with our Ogre Greases campaign and yeah, things are going well. Things are going well. Okay, so we need more camps, please. I know we have migration. Wasn't there another one? Recruit for the fangs. Um, we don't care about the plague. Chaos waste attrition would be nice. But not the end of the world there. Income for raiding, we've, like, I think yet to actually raid. Alright, give me the migration then. So, contract. Stonehorn units are cheaper. Or less corruption all provinces. Yeah, probably that one. Winds of magic, ammunition, upkeep, melee defense, charge, population. Ooh. Camp limit plus one. Camp limit plus one. Me provided by camp 50%. Yeah, all three of those would be great. So we're trying to get a camp up here because we're going to want a camp up here. Uh, building upgrade available. Sorry, can't do anything about it. Outpost available. I could do something about it, but I want to save my money because you're going to be done here in four turns and we're going to need to get some building upgrades so we can get finally our top tier troops. So we're like... We're like ready almost for the end game here. <laughs> we still have three freaking chaos lands to go to. Okay, that's gonna be fun. Are you seriously? Oh my god, F off, dude. Really? Um, hmm. Not sure how I wanna do this then. Cause I need to kill that one army. I could split my armies up, my two armies, send one north, one west. Don't know how I feel about that. No, I'm not joining your freaking war. Wish you could say, like, no, period. And then they would stop asking you about that. Uh, you're actually going all the way over there. What? Why? Huh. I don't care about Clan Creaser. Because you guys are like, who cares? And then I don't think I care about any of these guys either. Are you gonna go back and attack me again? Oi. You know what's funny about this? They got a brand new hero up to full HP. But thank you for the money. Mm hmm. Which is kind of the BS thing. It's like, oh, hey, guess what? You lost your lord, so you get to replace it with another lord. But guess what? That's weird. He's not over there. Uh. Oh, you know what? He is. Right, wait, was that a big name for a lord that I don't even have recruited? Throg. This guy's 13. Oh, you know what? I think I put him in the one town, didn't I? Maybe? I actually don't even know who it was. Big name. Unlocked. For Mobes. He's only tier one. He is a tyrant, though. Yeah, right here. How does a dude that's not even recruited get a big name? I don't know. So, this is Mao, Mao Ying. That is not going to be fun. No. No. We, we got we to gotta come back from Mao Ying. So, how do we want to do this? Give me you into town. So, because you're not full HP yet. And then you're going to have to go on ambush stance. And the hope here is we can just ambush her. 95% chance here. Um, and we should get all of our units in. And then the fact that it's an ambush stance should actually give us um, a decent roll when it comes to the auto resolving. Okay. So then what do we do here? They did move two of their armies away. They actually can't get back. Interesting. So only one army can actually come grab Fallen City. Like, I don't think these two can run. Like, you can see... Oh, you know why? Nah, yeah, you'd be within range. You'd be within range. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I think we're kind of stuck again, then. Yeah, I feel like we might be stuck. Outpost available. We can take you to tier three. Gives you more units. No, actually doesn't. Uh, slightly better Orger bulls. Yeah. Then we can get them. 
Ah, interesting. So it's cheaper to recruit then. I don't think it's worth 5k. Nah. To basically make her slightly better at defense, like, mm, not really that useful, in my opinion. Outpost available. Outpost upgrade available. Do we want to spend some money here? You do have a full stack, don't you? Do what I say. Yeah. So taking you to an extra 5% might not be the worst thing in the world here. I mean, it doesn't give me any un new units, but it's probably still okay. And are you providing a tech? No, you're not. Okay. And if only, if only. So where are we going here once we hit tier five? We're definitely going to be grabbing that. That's 16K. Okay. That one's 16K. That's 8K. All right. Well, we should probably be hanging out then and saving money. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and save money. So we have three armies right now. Well, kind of wish I had a fourth. Catcher, catcher, catcher. Oh, we might still be able to just whack her. I don't see why we wouldn't just go fight her right now. Uh, hey, chick, you're going to need to go save your people, please. I, he's just going back and forth right now. It's kind of weird. Oh, my God, a fourth army? What the actual hell at this point? <laughs> Come on. Don't you guys have, like, demons to take care of? Like, chaos to fight? Like, seriously, man. What the actual hell? No, I don't want to declare friggin' war. Ah, oh, they're dwarves. But no, I want to be friends with the dwarves. I want their guns, man. Although, I'm never going to be friends with the dwarves. But still, leave me alone. Freaking heck, dude. Mao Ying and um her brother can, like, seriously suck it. Okay, that seemed very useful. Such a good use of your time here. Can I please, like, I need to see if I piece them out. Because I don't really want to watch them. You know, we could also, I think, turn off individual factions, can't we? Yes. So, there we go. Turn them off. <laughs> I don't actually care about them, please. Because they're not anywhere close to me. So what happens with them is like, mm, whatever. Probably don't care about any of these four either. But that's fine. You gain control. That's fine. Ready for duty is our tier 13 guy. I wonder about replacing... You're tier 12 now. Mm, so the replacement is here. Where's the level 13? There he is. He's a tyrant mall preacher. He has a negative one. He might be better for us right now. He might be. I don't know how much I leveled that one. Because, like, you know, some of this is fine, but it's not necessarily, like, needed. Okay, so we got a 2v1 against Mao Ying. She got a scary army, though. She got a very scary army. Uh, okay. Let's do it. Yeah, I mean... She wants to fight the ogres? She shall fight the ogres. And we got magic versus magic. If I could kill her, this would be amazing. Close defeat. Come on! Uh, I, I don't think this is going to be a close defeat. In the least bit. She has three freaking spellcasters, though. That's that's fun. Yeah, that's fun. Um, but look, look, look at all the peasant spears. So she only has two jade guards. Well, three. Well, celestial dragon and then two jades. Then crossbow. Her iron hail gunners are good, but their armor piercing and like, what's her armor piercing is gonna do against me? And then a bunch of peasants. Like, nah. There's no way we freaking lose this. I love how like if we auto it, we literally lose everything. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is it doesn't really take into account how much better my spells will be against her than her spells against me. Also, this is like the 15th time I fought on this battle map. It's the only one we get to fight on. Now, admittedly, I'd say 90% of our battles have come in the same two areas. So, probably not surprising, but yeah. Also, we get a lot of Winds of Magic, which is going to be good. 
The other thing to keep in mind is we do have to wait for reinforcements. Minute 43. I can wait. Yeah. What is the range on their... Oh, they don't have artillery, right? No. The gunners only have a range of 90. Uh, okay, so the sky junk technically kind of is. Does it have a lot of range, though? No, it doesn't. Or, sorry, a lot of ammo. So, yeah, that's fine. And then you guys can hold the line. Probably want the line here, though. You guys can back up the line. And we're just going to throw you guys and hide you for the time being. And at least some of you. Put, like, let's say three of these guys in there. And then we're going to go two and two on the flanks. Something like that. Something like that. So you should all be two, three, put you on four, and then you're on my one. We don't need to channel magic. We're just going to go ahead and start. Oh, shoot. I forgot to put him. <laughs> ah, shoot. I forgot to move you, too. What? Uh, all right. Well, you can come back here, sir. Yeah, that's fine. Are they going to attack me? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Now, it looks like he's going to sit there and hold the line. Now, I can outrange them. So, once I get reinforcements, that's going to be the play. I think we're going to take the second army up and around. So, there's no reason for me to attack while we have, um, while we can wait. I'm wondering about potentially getting you into a position to start shooting here. Okay, reinforcements have arrived. Uh, still can't quite get the shot on. Okay, that's fine. So then these guys are just going to move on up here. And I think that's everyone. All right, let's go ahead and get you attacking. So I want you to move up to about like right there. Do we got to move everyone? Probably because we're probably going to end up attacking. Or they're going to end up attacking us. So we're going to go like here. Something like this. And then you go up just a little bit further. And start shooting. And we'll see whether or not they attack us. So the idea here is I was trying to keep out of the sky junk range, which actually is happening. So good. We are they going to be dodging? Mm, yep. Why do we just lose vision? <laughs> oh, she's going for the heal immediately. Interesting. Yeah, she immediately went and healed them, which I doesn't bug me in the least bit. Like, seriously. OK, do something like this. Then I got one of you and all of you and you guys are going to come like here with then these guys going here. Tiger can go there and you guys can go here. And how are we going to not um, number that army? Eh, I don't think I really care that much as of now, at least. So, yeah, we're just going to keep pop shotting. And we got double artillery, so we should have a grand old time here shooting. You are, yeah, you're in position now. And I would love it if you shot their gunners. That would be amazing. So we'll see what's happening here. Peasant long spear. We're just going to go on speed three while we pop shots and until they start moving. We shot at the archers. Okay, it looks like they're actually taking the attack. Okay. You guys are still moving, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to let them actually come towards us. Probably wait till they get within gun range and then maybe charge. I don't really want to fight them uphill, but probably going to have to. Now, we are fighting the dragon princess or the dragon chick, so that is going to be a problem. Probably should move you elsewhere, but this is okay. Something like this. And then we're going to get our little dudes like this. These guys are still not in range. 
They are shooting at me now. Okay. That's fine. So, let's get you up. Let's get you up. Let's get our two lords up. Then you guys come here. You guys are running around. And are going to just wreck their Iron Hero gunners. Which should be a victory for us. And then, yeah, you guys are just going to come up here. Okay. This would be fine. Oh, and then we still have all these guys back here, which we decided to never use. So, yeah, come on. That's fine. You guys are so freaking slow. My God. All right. These guys are getting wrecked. Okay. I need you to come into... Actually, I'm going to have both of you go there. And then give me one of the Ogre Bulls and hit these guys from behind. Uh, and then I want you guys up in here. Yeah, why am I not attacking there? I don't know. Uh, okay. Spell time. Should have been spell timing a little bit ago for sure. All right. Throw that down. Please. Uh, go get on him. Then murder again. Don't we have a wind spell with you too? Armor piercing, missile resistance. Nah. So we just got the big buddies, which is totally fine by me. Oh yeah, we just literally wrecked half of our army. Okay, good. Uh, hi, you're supposed to all be in here, just for the record. Okay, Mao Ying's over here. So this is gonna be a great time for our two lords to F up Mao Ying. We're, I mean, that's gonna be basically our goal here. You can keep doing this, that's fine. Let's actually take you two and let's go whack them. Yeah. Yeah. I need you guys on Mao Ying. And probably need you guys on Mao Ying. And. Uh, probably don't run you into the halberds, but. Run you guys in the halberds. Uh, armor piercing damage would be amazing right here. Because we need all of these guys. Turn off guard mode. I need you on Mao Ying. We need all of you guys on Mao Ying. So you guys are wrecking them. Because uh, she is going to be tanky as heck. So second spell ready to go. Get a good little punch there. Just keep pushing. God, that damage is so good on those spells. Ugh. I didn't even notice you guys before. I think you're shooting. I don't really know what you're doing. You can go shoot the astronomer. astronomer. Okay, those guys all broke. So let's get everyone routing in. Uh, then, yeah, you guys are going over there. Uh, I need my Saber Tusk chaos away. That's fine. Hey, go, like, mess those guys up, please. Are you actually shooting? I don't even know. All right, who took a lot of damage? My Saber Tusk? Yeah, I don't really care so much about them. I'm going to heal... I'm going to heal the guy at 18. And Mao Ying's actually breaking already. Wow, how disappointing, Mao Ying. Seriously. Seriously. Like, you're breaking already? Remember, we are supposed to lose this battle. Just throwing that one out there. This was supposed to be a loss. You get over there. Wait, no gobbles? Uh, Throw down another ma nasty spell here, please. You guys just keep pushing forward. You guys just keep pushing forward. And, I mean, when Mao Ying dies, I can't imagine they have anything left after that. I mean, they still have their balloon, but, like, yeah. I think they're going to break before then. I think when Mao Ying goes away, they're going to run. Oh, there she is running. So, I think it's just a matter of time now. Yeah, they're still holding out, actually. A little more surprising than I thought. Or a little more, um, yeah, a little better than I thought, I guess, would be the way to describe that. So I would like to go whack these guys. Hey, you guys get over there and go hit them. I know you're currently busy, but that's okay. Uh, oh, hey, give me the uh, augment, please. These guys are still having some fun. You guys can all... Did Mao Ying die? Mao Ying. Mao Ying. Because I don't see her. Dude, if we killed her, that would be amazing. 
So I need. Actually, that was a very bad idea. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad idea. Sorry about that, buddies. Sorry about that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get on the wizard. Oh, that was nasty. Oh, yeah, that, that hurt. That hurt. That was almost as bad as mine. Yeah, I screwed that up really badly. Ugh. Painful. Um, armor piercing here, please. You guys shoot the balloon. And yeah, I'm just getting in battle. We're gonna have to fight them again, but that's okay. No, we're supposed to lose that. We we're supposed to lose that. <laughs> Somehow we were supposed to lose that. I did kill Mao Ying. Well, that wasn't even like close. Like, and that wasn't even a case where like, oh, well, if it wasn't for our spells, it might've been, you know, an interesting fight. No, like we literally just stomped them. The artillery helped. And then, I mean, Honestly, they don't really have much to stop against our um, ogres. I suppose the spearmen, but like, mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, probably give me the replenishment here, because we are going to have to fight her again. Unless she retreats too far away, but I don't think so. Uh, gain extra charge defense and melee defense for the army. Which is weird that that's what you get for fighting Mao Yang. I feel like that's what you should get for fighting ogres. Can I get you? I can. Okay, let's level these guys up. Hello, HP. Sounds like a play. Then, yeah, keep shooting. Then you. I need... Winds of Magic. You already have all the spells, right? You do. You can now do one of these. Casualty replenishment rate. Oh, my God. And you also get a heal this gives us less corruption and cooldown to spells less attrition you get poison attack and not gonna do weapon strength no dude i really love the um it's gonna be one of these two cooling down spells by 10 seconds seems kind of fun 43 seconds, you're going to cool it down by another four. I suppose that's not really that worth it. And honestly, yeah, I think casualty replenishment rates is better. I think so. All right, let's get you up here on top of Mal. And then let's finish her off, please. And good night, sweet prince. And you're still going to kill... You're gonna kill one Noblar. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, replenishment here kind of sucks, but whatever. Yeah, all right. That's annoying, but sure. Cool. Campaign movement range. Enemy killed in battle. All these are fine. Took way too much damage for the record, but it happens. Can I get you back to my territory? Yeah, I'm gonna bring you back up here just so we can get replenishment please yeah he's going back to full hp now dude that's some good replenishment mm -hmm. the renowned feast master i like it so probably pop up the healing again so this is an extra six percent plus eight percent so we're getting an extra 14 percent healing replenishment i like it i like it i like it i think it's definitely worth it because we can basically um get fights back to back to back as long as we aren't losing units which we did but it, it, it was minor um unstoppable force time i guess unless actually no we should be grabbing these yeah we should be grabbing those because those are really good okay done there Don't know what's happening here. I know that they have one army. And they can still bring in reinforcements here. And that's Zhao Ming. And I really don't want to have to mess with Zhao Ming. So, that's fine. Um, mm. I'm worried that they're going to, like, defeat these guys and then send everyone at me. But, what can we do to stop it? Nothing. So, keep passing. Outpost upgrade available. We don't care about. So, next turn. All right. We're kind of like, 
playing this little game where we're like staring at each other, but we're not necessarily doing much. Like we're kind of fighting each other, but we're also kind of like wary of fighting each other. Yeah, see, that's exactly why, whatever, whatever, whatever. Freaking idiots. I feel like five armies? Come on. Seriously at this point? Like what the actual hell? <laughs> Oi. We have his entire freaking army here with us. A little on the stupid side. It's gonna be a 1v5 at some point. Just watch. Be like, well, I guess we die. And it's probably all peasants, too, is the thing that's probably most annoying about it. So are you actually gonna attack and kill the lizard men, or are you just gonna keep waiting? I think he's just gonna keep waiting. Are you gonna actually go take in a, a, a territory? No, you're just gonna walk right past it. In rush dance. You know, why, 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 why help us? That's, you know, whatever, whatever. No, I'm not joining your stupid war. Like, wh what is the point of this? I don't know what you're doing here. Ah, Great. The tone flickers to life. Fates will clash. Person will roar again. The power it shall unleash will see more rip. Okay, so, um, does that mean they're open now? Doesn't look like it. So I think that means they're coming soon again. Which None. is a little awkward because we're not really in a good spot to fight. Because we're kind of out of position. So, who is the weaker army? Of the I'm going to put you in town. Just because you need more healing replenishment. Why can't I move you from... Seriously? I should have been able to move into town without that. Should have been able to, but that's fine. What is 95% ambush chance? Yeah, we're just going to get you guys here and ready to ambush. Uh, ambush, thank you. Kind of want to camp like right here just to guard this pass. You're still in ambush stance. We probably should grab a 20 unit just to be ready. Just grab a regular ogre. I suppose. But... So what I wanted is the Iron Blaster. The downside is, well, actually, we will be able to afford it. Yeah, we will actually be able to afford it, but it's still going to be another turn or so. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to move so I can get close to it. Because I think I would like an Iron Blaster when we go in to the next tier. Now, obviously, they can come hit attack Grimtop, but, like, whatever. I'm not too worried about that right now because most of their armies are up north. So we can't spend any money upgrading, please. So next turn. Hopefully, we get, like, another five turns or so before the portals open. Yeah. The only good thing about the portals opening is that might end up moving Zhao Ming's army out. We also wanted to go take that um, Yahtzee Peak, but I feel like I need to go squish him. Seriously? Seriously. Well, we'll probably split our armies up now. And I want to go take out that extra army that's been just hanging around up there for like the last 16 years and just murder them. Because they're annoying me. Um, you're attacking uh, Ice Court. Interesting. But those were uh, dwarf territories originally, so... Also interesting. Thog. Ogre names are fun, dude. Targ. Thorg. <laughs> they're, they're just fun names. Can you please attack or something? All right, that's, that's fine. Randomly raid territory and make like 50 gold a turn. I'm sure that's totally worth the time and energy. A little scary down there with um, the northern provinces, for sure. You are a rogue army. They ended your non-aggression pack. Okay. I don't know where they're at. 
probably not a good thing. Amateur discovered. Uh, we made 6,000. Nice. I actually forgot we were going to be doing that. So that gives us a new attack weapon. Cool. Uh... Buddy, you probably shouldn't be using this one. Yeah. Not right now. Not right now. And then the other trickster shard is negative spell resistance for the enemy, I think? Which, if that's the case... That would be amazing for you. Uh, preservation. Spell resistance, negative 20%. Yeah, dude. I love it. So that's just awesome, because we throw that down, and then we throw the spell down and just destroy. <laughs> and have fun. Okay, so I need one army here. But we need to go for the ambush. And how strong are you? Not any. So let's go ambush. And then I'm going to put you out here as well. Why? God dang it. Why did you start to move? You can't stop it. That's so dumb. Like what? Oh, that's so annoying, man. Give me the melee attack. Ay, that's so annoying. You're also 300, so we should probably go do this as well. Like, uh, I want to put him outside the town in ambush stance, but I can't. Because, you know, yeah. Fine. So when is this done? Five turns. Ugh. Still so long. We don't have far to move, so I'm kind of okay where we're at. Yeah. Yeah. What was this one? Campaign movement range? Oh, global recruitment. I don't really care about any of that. We still have an extra 6,000 gold after all this. Um, I definitely don't want to upgrade. Unassigned skill points. Increased mobility. Yes. And uh, I do want to see, was there another building we could build in the camp? I don't need you. We could go for the money one. This is going to give us another 200 gold. Yeah. That's worth it. This is extra meat. We don't care about. Casualty replenishment. Not that big of a deal. Camp growth. Doesn't matter at this point at all. So, no. I think we're chill. What's the army? Kind of bad. Yeah, kind of bad. We do have the um, lead belchers. Which, speaking of which, we should probably get those in here. Yeah. We should. I'm not going to worry about it right this second, but at some point. And we almost have enough for another camp. But that's actually going to make us even on camps, right? Yeah. Greasus hasn't leveled recently, right? I don't think I've missed a level on him. Zeech. Oh, there's the ice court winning. That's fine. I don't really care about anything over there. What are you doing with your 15 armies, man? And the funny thing is we still have, like, the ogre dude just kind of hanging up there. They're just, like, staring at each other. Yeah, I don't have any idea what's happening. It looks like they might both be in range of me attacking right now. Which is good. Um, no, I'm not going to join war. I don't want to be in more meaningless wars. God, I wish you could turn that off. <sighs> Maybe we should... <laughs> I guess we're a demon faction, just don't ally with anyone, then guess what? We don't get to get any of their units, but we don't get to have to worry about being asked every turn about being allies. Probably. So whose realm are we going in next? Probably Slanesh. Probably. Well, the thing is, someone had two realms, right? So we did need to kind of like stop them, whoever they were. So we were going to kind of keep an eye out and see where they go. See, it looks like you're supposed to be taking Zanashi, but you keep moving away, so not entirely sure. Um, I think the capital, her capital is so strong that I don't know that we're ever going to have, like, she's ever going to lose it. I don't know Western provinces are ever going to go for it. Is this Slanesh up here, I think? Or is that a Zeech unit? Well. There you go. Some rating. Ambush chance for Greasus. Nice. Ambush foiled. Balding. Uh, okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I can still hit you. So, time to murder you because I'm tired of your crap. Um, 
late. Probably gonna have to fight this. No, he actually ran. And the best part about this is he actually ran into range of the town. God dang it. Can these guys get up here now? No, because the ogres are blocking them. So, yeah. Can I hit this guy here? Uh, doesn't look like it. I can't see because of the. Dang it. I can't let, let, uh, rotate it. There we go. There we go. In charge. I think I'm hitting you. And he can't run. Pyrrhic victory. Okay, we're not losing anything, so that's fine. Uh, go ahead and give me five. Leadership to our main lord. And then strider and speed to you. And auto resolve. Okay. Piss off and get out of my land, man. Um, I'll take money because money is something we want and we need and Rush you back to town. Oh, hey, he was actually in normal attack mode for once Uh, Whatever can I Normal move you. Yes. Yeah, he's not like broken now. He is in our town He's in our land because he's healing so I guess it doesn't matter. I don't need to rush him anymore Uh, Recruitment costs hardy Girth we were doing these so melee weapon strength Leadership charge bonus. Income from looting, raiding, sacking. I love that. But let's do absolute violence because our goal here is more of a defensive. Like, we're trying to just, like, defend more than anything at this point. So. So, got a little bit of time here. I don't think upgrading you is worth much. Upgrading you will give us more units. Ah, uh, yeah, let's pop up Grim Top to the next level. I don't know if it has any trade goods, but it's going to make it harder to take over, which we like. I just don't know what the hell we're supposed to do with this. <laughs> like, what the freaking heck? <laughs> I have a uh, and like, freaking Xiao Ming's here too, so it's like... <laughs> If I was the Skaven and I could potentially get an ambush on one of their armies, maybe. Um, they did also change how Quick Strike works. Which, so, whoopsie. So you used to be able to, with Quick Strike, be able to attack just one army, even if they had like 15 uh, dudes around. Uh, lead, siege, melee defense. Nah, I still kind of like your big name. Um, but, uh, no, 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 I want skills. But they apparently changed it. I hadn't seen what it is. Lightning strike. Okay, so it just reduces the... Alright, so if you get it to tier 3 then... Will appear... Enabling this prevents reinforcements from joining the battle, but will cause your troops with reduced vigor. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Or you just reduce the reinforcement time by 50%. Which, the whole idea there is destroying him before he can um, do anything. Which, you know, maybe that's an option, but we're not really anywhere close to that. So, I'm going to go ahead and say probably not. So, who did we have to kill? Yeah, Slanesh and Zeech. Although, we're friendly with Zeech. But, we're going to have to either go into Slanesh's realm. Or... And we already did corn. So, yeah, I guess we go into Slanesh's realm. And we try beating them both. Because the thing is, we don't have to kill the army. We just need to beat them to the end. So, I guess that's the play there. Hop in Slanesh's realm and try winning it before the AI can. And that's the hope. Now, Slanesh's realm is interesting. It's a bunch of portals. You go down. And every portal, they offer you something if you leave. So, it's like, hey, we'll give you 40,000 gold if you, like, leave now. You know? Which can be nice. Um... Especially if, like, there's no way you can actually take it. But we want the, 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 the soul, clearly, at this point. And once again, I don't know... I don't know if we can lose the game to the AI. If they grab all of them. So, that's just my big concern right now. You guys are still doing random crap over here. It looks like he's still trying to go for the Lizardman, man. No, no, he, he keeps thinking about it. You can kind of see the AI here with her just constantly like moving around. It's got to be like based on like, oh, they got too many units there. So now we don't want to go attack them kind of thing. I think is what's happening. Oh, hey, she actually has a second army. 
Now, remember, I think her capital is being sieged, but it literally doesn't matter at all. You're sieging there. Uh, because, like, the... I don't know if the rebels were sieging or if they were just maybe raising an army, but still, her capital is strong enough and should be able to fight against anything. Oh, hey, he's actually going to come help, finally. Maybe. Population and plus camp limit. Love it. Okay. Contract doesn't matter. Oh, we actually immediately got that one. Huh. Interesting. I wonder why we got that one for free. And we got this one for free. And we got that one for free. And that one for free. Okay. I can't really afford these, so I'd rather come up here and get... Oh, I'm in the wrong... <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> That's why you got it for free, Brian, because you researched it a long time ago. Shut up! Um, yeah, probably corruption, I think. I think we're going to go down here. Yeah, okay, I'm stupid, but that's fine. We understand what we're doing. So you're raiding. There is a potential for me actually taking that unit, but at this point, I don't think we're going to be worrying about that. 100% success chance. Why? Because we're going to be getting ready to go to the Chaos Lords. So I need to get over here to the camp because we want to go ahead and swap out some units. Oh, you know, I also want the Gorgers, too. Did I put Gorgers in this army? Oh, I do have Gorgers in this army. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We could go take them. I do want to do that at some point. You're trying to recruit? Sucks for you, buddy. He did get away. I'm just going to take you out. Be done with it. freaking kidding me so their army was literally running away because i'm stronger than them auto resolve you lose like what the freaking hell oh hey. god okay i'll be i'm ready for them to fix that that's the one thing that is going to be exciting for now we're going to wrap this episode up here next episode i suppose we're going to take the fight for now if you enjoyed it drop a like comment let me know what you think as always hit the subscribe button join the game government share support i'll see you guys later bye everyone